doing the high plank. Okay, the high plank is basically the top of a push up, but you want to make it active. You don't want to just hang out there. So, what I'm doing is I'm really pushing to the floor and I'm making sure the shoulders aren't coming up. I'm actually trying to keep them down like I would in a chest press and then pushing through. So, you'll see a little roundness in the back. What it is, is my shoulder blades are separating them versus squeezing them together. And then just engaging everything through the body, keeping the abs tight, glutes, thighs, all the way through one nice long straight line. It's as simple as that, okay? Simple, not necessarily easy. Now, if you struggle with being able to hold that position for a period of time, then do a band assisted version. Attach a band to a pull-up bar or use your utility strap where you put it over your door if you're at home, lock it in, and then just get in the band around your hip, and everything else is the same. Breathe. And try to actually push away as you're doing that exhale. Think about trying to actually move the ground, push away. So you get a little more engagement. Um, you're squeezing that chest and shoulder tricep. You're also going to get the muscles here in the rib cage, which is really important. We get a little extra when we actually do that little push on the exhale. So that, my friends, is your high plank.